separate in your room for a little while, oh, and yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm home all the time, so is she, so we'll take care yeah. of that. He'll back up. It's very playful. Mm -hmm. There's no growls, none whatsoever. It's getting to know you. <laughs> the circle of love. Look, even when Finn is up in his junk, he doesn't do anything either. Neither one of them. Finn is our 100 plus rescue. And he's about a 10 or 11. 11. How long have you had him now, Deb? Five years. And he is meeting our newest Ashton because Mummy Joan needs a new friend. <laughs> And Joan and her daughter, Deb, they've been a part of our rescue. They have supported us for years, adopted, fostered countless dogs. They have revived dogs back to life for us. They are off the chart amazing. There's usually always somebody home. They live local. I thought I'd go live and show you the two of them getting to know each other. You tell him, Finn. You tell him, Finn, your boss. Debbie, everybody says hello. <laughs> look at him, look. Yeah, he's like, he's gonna hump me, I'm gonna hump him. Finn, get off. Oh, there's a lot of humping going on in this house. Well, Joan will have her own room and keep them separate yeah. for a little while. For a while yeah. You can also keep them on a leash in the house so you have control. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let Finn free and just walk around with the leash and yeah. until they get, you know, desensitized, basically. I think once they get used to each other, the newness is kind of get, like a relationship with yes. most. Yeah. Of course, not mine, but, you know. <laughs> Finn said, okay, all right. It's enough hey, from you. Hey, hey. That's enough from that's you, that's right, say, Finn? Say, that's enough. That's enough. Tell him. What do you guys think is the question? Oh, we, we really Do you want to try it? it? Yeah. You want to, you, you're it. done? Yeah. Do you want to foster for, what's today, Monday? You want to foster for a few days to make sure? Yeah, well, that. see, I don't want that because of his face. So we're just going to have to watch that there's not too much activity because I took his hard cone. I'm going to send you with the hard cone um, just in case. But um, as long as he's kept chill in your home, there's really no reason for that thing. It's all he hates it. He's already fixed. <laughs> he, but he was only fixed a couple of days ago. So it takes time for the testosterone to go down and yes I agree with you guys a hundred percent that I think it's gonna just the newness is gonna wear off I really do I think the newness is gonna wear off they're both mounting I think they're establishing um, who's gonna be the higher yeah that's good that's good that's good Right? Get him out of the hospital, get him in the rescue house, get him out of the rescue house. That's the best way to rescue. There you go. And with a previous adopter who's off the chart, on a highest pedestal, to know that our dog is going to be so loved and cared for. 11. 11 fosters. All right, so one of you sit in the front with the dog, one of you sit in the back with the dog so they're not on top of each other. Um, I have a collar and a harness on him. Keith, I think we're gonna walk him on the collar just because I don't know how good, well, the harness looks good, but I don't want him slipping out. Yeah. So we'll switch it. Oh my gosh. Um, I have a case of wet food I'm gonna send home with you guys. Do you have a bed or do you need a bed? Uh, a bed. A bed. A bed. No. You sure? I know, but do you want a doggy bed just no, for, no? We have, we what have about bowls? 
we got that. You got everything? Got everything. All right. No chew bones or anything nope. for him? Um, certainly nope. not for a good eight weeks. Nope. We'll recheck his uh, jaw in eight weeks. We'll have him re-x-rayed. Um, but they said no surgery. Again, he's already neutered, and we found out he's already microchipped, so I'm going to transfer that chip immediately. Um, and the only thing left that he's going to need, just because I don't have any history of um, updated vaccines, and then we can make an appointment at Blue per at uh, IP with Dr. Kesha. He took over Clark's spot. So we'll make an appointment, we'll have him vaccinated, and then he's done. There's nothing left. And then when he heals, he can get groomed. We can take him to our groom or Michael, but we have to wait eight weeks, unfortunately. He can't be messed with. I remember Michael. Remember Michael? He's great. So cute. So cute. He's a doll. He's just, he's starving for love. I mean, for the owner to allow this dog to run the streets, get hit by a car, and abandon, come on. Come on. It's too good. It's too good. All right, Keith, I'm going to get the wet food together. You said you don't need bowls, you don't need um, a bed. No, Keith's going to Keith's gonna bring him in. Remember, always hand through loop with these guys because we don't know if they're runners. Obviously, he was on the street. The extra. I have a um, seatbelt clip for the car. Would you like that as well? It's good. Mama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to seatbelt him in. Um, we'll do that. Just make sure hand through loop always. Okay. All right, we're good here. We're good here. Foster to adopt. We'll give it a few days. And if it's a match perfect, we'll finalize the adoption. If not, then we'll put him back up for adoption. Hopefully that's not the case. Right, boo-boos? Is that good for you? <laughs> mwah, mwah. So you never, ever, ever see anything bad ever again in your life, you little munchkin. Aww. All right, let's do it. Let's get out of here. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Good stuff.